Jakarta, the capital city of Indonesia, is known for its vibrant lifestyle and rich cultural heritage. Today, we delve into the cost of living in this bustling metropolis in 2024. We'll be exploring the ins and outs of various living costs, from accommodation to food, transportation to utilities, and even entertainment. We'll also touch on insurance, education, and visa costs. There's a lot to cover, but don't worry, we'll break it all down for you. So, buckle up as we take a tour of living costs in Jakarta. First stop, accommodation. Whether you're considering long-term stays or short-term visits, Jakarta offers a variety. Let's start with apartments. For a modest one-bedroom in the city center, you're looking at an average monthly cost of around 2 million Indonesian rupiah, but if you want more space or luxury, prices can climb up to 10 million rupiah. Villas, on the other hand, are more expensive. They can range from 20 to 50 million rupiah per month, depending on the location and amenities. If you're planning a short stay, hotels and hostels offer a wide range of prices. A night at a budget hotel can cost as low as 200,000 rupiah, while a luxury hotel room can set you back up to 2 million rupiah. Hostels are the most affordable, with prices starting from 50,000 rupiah per night. Remember, location is key when choosing a place to live in Jakarta. Next up, let's talk about food, a vital part of any expat's budget. Now, Jakarta is a food lover's paradise, teeming with a variety of local Indonesian cuisine that's as diverse as it is delicious. If you're the type that loves to whip up your own meals, groceries are reasonably priced. You'll find local markets brimming with fresh produce, spices and meats, allowing you to prepare a meal for less than the cost of a fancy latte. Then we have the street food, an integral part of Jakarta's culinary landscape. A hearty nasi goreng or a bowl of soto ayam can cost you less than a dollar, making it a budget-friendly option for everyday meals. And for those occasions when you want to indulge, there's a wide range of restaurants to choose from. From upscale dining experiences to cozy local eateries, you can enjoy a meal for anywhere between $5 to $25. So whether you're a foodie or a home cook, Jakarta has got you covered. Moving around in Jakarta, let's look at the transportation costs. Owning a vehicle in Jakarta might seem like a convenient choice, but when you factor in the costs of purchase, maintenance, fuel, and parking, it can add up to a hefty sum. On the other hand, ride-hailing services like Grab and Gojek offer an affordable and convenient alternative. With these services, you can ride in comfort and forget about the hassles of parking or navigating through Jakarta's busy streets. Public transportation is another cost-effective option. Jakarta has a well-connected network of public buses, trains, and the MRT, which are all reasonably priced. Commuting by public transport can be a great way to save money while experiencing the local life. Remember, your choice of transportation not only impacts your wallet, but also your daily routine and quality of life. Navigating Jakarta can be quite affordable if you choose the right mode of transport. Now, let's switch gears and talk about utilities and connectivity. When it comes to water, the average monthly bill is relatively low, usually around 200,000 Indonesian rupiah. Electricity, however, can vary significantly based on your usage. Expect to shell out anywhere from 500,000 to 1 million rupiah each month. Now let's touch on mobile phone services. A good plan with ample data and call minutes can be found for about 200,000 rupiah per month. But what about internet services, you ask? Well, a solid and reliable home internet connection will run you around 400,000 rupiah per month. The quality and reliability of these services in Jakarta are generally good, with few disruptions. However, occasional outages can occur, especially during the rainy season. Don't fret though, most public places offer free Wi-Fi so you're rarely without connectivity. Remember staying connected in Jakarta doesn't have to break the bank. Let's dive into the costs of entertainment and lifestyle in Jakarta. The city is brimming with excitement and opportunities for fun and relaxation. A gym membership will run you around 2 million rupiah a month, while a movie ticket costs about 50,000 rupiah. Shopping can vary greatly depending on where you go. Local markets are quite affordable, while high-end malls can be quite pricey. Nightlife is also a mixed bag, with local bars and clubs offering affordable drinks and upscale establishments charging premium prices. Speaking of drinks, alcohol can be quite expensive due to high taxes, with a beer typically costing around 50,000 rupiah at a bar. Whether you prefer a calm day at the spa, an adrenaline-filled adventure, or a night out on the town, Jakarta has it all. But remember, your lifestyle choices will significantly influence your overall cost of living. As you can see, there's never a dull moment in Jakarta. Health and education are important considerations for any expat. Let's look at the costs. 
Jakarta offers a wide range of healthcare services from public hospitals to private clinics and internationally accredited medical facilities. Public healthcare is cost effective, but for those who prefer international standards, private healthcare is the way to go. The cost of private health insurance can vary greatly depending on coverage, but expect to budget around 5 to 15 million rupiah per year. It's a worthy investment for peace of mind. For emergency medical situations, travel insurance is recommended. As an expat, you might be traveling frequently, and having a comprehensive travel insurance policy can save you from unexpected medical costs abroad. A good policy might cost around 2 to 3 million rupiah per year. Now let's talk about education. If you're moving to Jakarta with your family, you're likely considering international schools for your children's education. These schools offer high-quality education and follow international curriculums. But quality comes with a price. Tuition fees can range from 200 to 400 million rupiah per year per child, depending on the school and the grade level. Visa costs are another important consideration. The cost of a work visa or a long-stay visa can range from 1 to 3 million rupiah. Keep in mind that visa regulations and costs can change, so it's always a good idea to check with the Indonesian embassy or consulate in your home country for the most up-to-date information. Living in Jakarta is about much more than just the cost of living, it's about investing in your health, your education, and your future. It's about experiencing a vibrant culture, rich history, and warm hospitality. So, while the costs might seem high, remember that the experiences and opportunities that Jakarta offers are priceless. Investing in health and education is a crucial part of living in Jakarta. Now that we've covered the basics, let's wrap up with some tips and ratings. Living in Jakarta can be an exhilarating experience with its bustling streets, vibrant food scene and diverse culture. However, it's essential to know where to set up your base. Central Jakarta offers a cosmopolitan vibe with numerous shopping malls, restaurants and entertainment options. South Jakarta on the other hand is known for its quieter more residential areas, ideal for those seeking a peaceful environment. Jakarta's tropical climate means it's warm and humid year-round. However, if you're planning your move it may be best to avoid the rainy season from November to March, as flooding can be a concern. The months of April to October are generally drier and might be a more convenient time to settle in. Being aware of potential scams is crucial no matter where you live. In Jakarta be wary of overpriced taxi rides, always opt for metered taxis or use reputable ride-hailing apps like Grab. It's also a good idea to negotiate prices in markets to avoid paying a tourist tax. Now let's talk about the Digital Nomad rating for 2024. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the best, we'd give Jakarta a solid 7. The city scores high on factors like cost of living, food and local friendliness. However, it loses points on air quality and traffic congestion, which are areas the city is continually working to improve. The healthcare system in Jakarta is a mix of public and private providers. While the public healthcare system is affordable, it can be crowded, and the quality varies. On the other hand, private healthcare offers high-quality services, but at a higher cost. It's essential to have comprehensive health and travel insurance to cover any potential medical expenses. It's worth noting that while the cost of living in Jakarta is relatively low compared to many Western cities, it can vary widely depending on your lifestyle. Dining at high-end restaurants, shopping at international brand stores and living in luxury accommodations will obviously cost more. However, if you're willing to embrace the local lifestyle, eat at local food stalls and opt for more modest housing, you can live quite comfortably on a smaller budget. In summary, Jakarta offers a dynamic lifestyle at a cost that can be tailored to various budgets. So, are you ready to make Jakarta your next home? Please subscribe and like for more.